Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I am reviewing the Murad Night Fix Enzyme Treatment. Before we begin the video, I'd love to welcome all of those who are new to my channel. My name is Nadia and I am a licensed esthetician and I love to test and review skincare products. Feel free to add me on all of my other social media platforms. I will list those down below for you. Also, be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and feel free to hit that notification bell so that you are notified whenever I make a brand new upload. This here is an overnight treatment that combats the signs of aging such as lines, wrinkles, dryness, and lack of radiance. This would be perfect for those who have dry, combo, normal, or oily skin. If you are concerned with fine lines, wrinkles, dryness, dullness, and, and uneven skin texture, this could potentially work for you. Due to its functional fragrance, if you also have trouble sleeping, this may also enhance your sleep quality. You can find Murad's Night Fix Enzyme Treatment at Murad.com, Sephora, Ulta Beauty and Nordstrom's just to name a few. Murad's Night Fix Enzyme Treatment does retail for $70 and you do get one ounce. Let's chat about some ingredients. Uh, within the formula you do get niacinamide and according to paulischoice.com this is a great ingredient for those who are prone to breakouts. Um, niacinamide also offers the skin excellent anti-aging benefits. In addition, niacinamide also improves the appearance of enlarged pores, uneven skin tone, fine lines, dullness, and an impaired barrier. About a year or two ago, um, I, I thought I was sensitive to niacinamide, and it turns out I was sensitive to a YSL foundation that was loaded loaded with fragrance. Um, I did love, absolutely love the coverage and the finish of the foundation, um, but sadly, um, even though I tried to make it work, my skin was just sensitized. Like, I just had redness. For a minute there, I thought it was, I had rosacea, um, but it just was sensitivity to that foundation. And for some reason, I blamed it on niacinamide because I had just started trying out um, the Ordinary's niacinamide serum. And luckily, I stopped using the serum, but I was still experiencing that sensitivity and it was the foundation and not niacinamide. So niacinamide within this formula is the fifth ingredient in the ingredients list. This also contains sodium hyaluronate and sodium hyaluronate is the salt of a very popular ingredient and that is hyaluronic acid. This is considered to be even more effective on the skin than hyaluronic acid. And hyaluronic acid, as you know, is present within our body or skin. This will restore and provide the skin with moisture, soothe, and also protect the skin against transepidermal water loss. You also have a chronopeptide here, and this is an anti-aging peptide that supports the skin's natural repair. You do also have uh, Murad's tri-enzyme technology, which provides the skin with antioxidant protection and detoxification to minimize the signs of premature aging, such as loss of elasticity, fine lines, and wrinkles. So as far as usage is concerned, I have used this sporadically, maybe one to two times a week um, after receiving it in PR in or around February 20th, 26th, 23rd. Um, my first impressions of it consisted of it leaving my skin hydrated and it waking up feeling smooth and looking luminous. I have used other overnight sleeping masks before, such as the Origins Planscriptions Powerful Lifting Overnight Mask, which I still have. I don't 
don't know if I still have it. So I do still have it. So this is what um, I guess I, I'm going to maybe compare it to. This is an old unit. This is definitely Expirado. I mean, it still smells fairly good. Um, but I have used a number of uh, overnight sleeping masks. This is... Um, one I have used and this I purchased in hopes that I would love it as much as I loved the uh, fresh uh, black tea firming overnight mask and let me tell you my favorite overnight mask of all time is the fresh black tea mask. Um, I don't think there's anything that you know you can get at Sephora that compares to that and if so do let me know in the comments down below. The fresh black tea mask I felt as it really did plump and it helped redefine the contours of my face. I really tried to love this. I really did. Um, but it just didn't do it for me, unfortunately. Over time, I found myself reaching for it less and less because I didn't see, you know, I just saw minimal results. It just didn't do what the fresh overnight um, black tea firming mask did for my skin. This is a little bit different than the products I mentioned. Uh, Murad's Enzyme Treatment has a lightweight texture that offers you a patent pending aroma technology that preps your senses um, for sleep. The enzyme treatment is also lighter in texture and doesn't feel heavy over my skin. Um, unlike the products I mentioned uh, who promise to lift and firm the skin, this is neither. This simply claims to give your skin a well-rested appearance the next day while at the same time hydrating the skin and offering some anti-aging benefits. Because I have normal skin, I think I can get away with using this um, year round. I feel like drier skin types may also enjoy this uh, year round and oily skin may want to just use this during uh, winter because it's lightweight. I feel like maybe you might dig this during summer as well. Overall results from my notes I feel like this is smoothing, hydrating, and plumping to the skin. I find this to be lightweight and it doesn't bother me throughout the night um, as some products uh, sometimes do. As far as what I find uncomfortable for nighttime use, anything that's sticky or too heavy or too rich or anything that makes my hair just kind of like stick to my face or my pillowcase, um, those or are just a huge no-no for me. I do love using the uh, Night Fix Enzyme Treatment uh, with my Caudalie moisturizers. Let me show you those. I do love using it um, over this the most, but I have used it over this and I, I do like the result. And in the demo, you'll see me using the Night Fix Enzyme Treatment over the nutrient charged water gel and I really do appreciate and love that combo as well. So I feel like these two really really complement each other um, although I'm not sure you need the overnight mask if you've already got the nutrient charged water gel in your collection. Um, this combo does feel amazing over the skin though that i must admit if you're severely dehydrated you could potentially benefit from using both but i feel like the nutrient charged water gel um, will provide you with the hydration uh, dehydrated skin tends to crave this does uh, pair very well with other moisturizers but i have yet to try this with an oil i feel like if mixed with an oil the skin may feel too heavy as you sleep or it just uh, may be too much for the skin and it may just cause um, unnecessary congestion or whiteheads and that is completely dependent on the type of oil that you use though so just keep that in mind. My most favorite way to use this like I mentioned earlier is with the Caudalie Vino Perfect Brightening Glycolic Night Cream. So this is my favorite way to use this. I find that my skin really thrives with that 
combo as it wakes up hydrated, smooth, and looking much, much brighter. So here I will enter the demo for you all. Welcome to the demo portion of today's video. Um, I wasn't unsure whether I would do one for uh, this review uh, because it is another kind of nighttime skincare product, but I figured why not? Let's just do it. And it is going to be all Murad products because as you all know, um, I have loved Murad since before I even became an esthetician, before I even started this YouTube channel, Murad has been one of my favorite uh, brands and um, I have a lot of their products so I figured why not. Um, if you're new to my channel, uh, you should know that my love affair with uh, Murad began uh, with a failed relationship with their clarifying toner. Uh, then I picked up the Murad hydration toner which didn't look like this. 10 plus years ago, uh, but she's been revamped and she looks beautiful. So I'll be using that today as well. Um, I do want to begin by letting you know that it is 3 o'clock. Um, Toby and I have um, gone on our morning slash noon walk. Um, I really should wake up earlier tomorrow because it was hot when we went out for a walk today. Anyway, so I did wear sunscreen and um, I did cleanse and remove any sunscreen that I had over the skin with the Murad Prebiotic 4-in-1 Multi Cleanser. This has been one of my favorites to remove sunscreen after walking the dog or before I even film because it doesn't strip my skin of anything. It just feels very balanced. I have yet to apply anything over the skin since I performed my cleanse and I don't feel like I need a toner. Uh, but I'm going to apply a toner because that's what we do here. And I will be using the Murad Hydrating Toner, which I haven't used her in a long time. I have been trying to empty out the prebiotic one, which is this little guy here. And I, I've literally, you know, accomplished my goal here. So, love that, but we're not going to use her today. So, I don't know if my senses are ready for this, but here we go. Oh, I missed you. So we're going to pretend I'm doing a nighttime skincare routine. You do have a bit of a breakout here. Um, I have been working out and I do wear hats or baseball caps when I work out. And I feel like that may be the cause of that. So um, do make sure that you... Wash your baseball caps or hats if you wear them to um, your workouts or to walk your dog because uh, dirt, oil, debris can, you know, get trapped in that and then just kind of congest your skin there as well. And then also make sure you're not wearing makeup to your workouts and make sure that you cleanse your skin or take a wipe to the skin after your workout. Uh, next, I'm going to go in with the Murad Revite Elixir Recovery Serum. I did a review on this a while back. I will link that down below for you. That is what the serum looks like. It's quite thick. It has um, neuropeptides in here and it works as both an eye serum, which I love and a face serum. Because I've run out of my Retinol Youth Renewal Eye Serum, I have been using this exclusively as an eye serum. And I have been loving it. This does have caffeine and niacinamide in there as well. Love it. I am going to follow that with the Murad Nutrient Charged Water Gel, which I have also reviewed here on my channel. This has five minerals, five vitamins, and five peptides. Holy cow, look at how much I've used from that. This is my second tub of, of this. I love this. 
Um, so this is a great hydrator. So I'm dipping my finger in this. My hands are clean. Um, this is a great uh, moisturizer for summer months or for anyone with uh, dry dehydrated skin, even oily skin, I would say, who doesn't like the feel of those rich, creamy moisturizers. After five, I think five or seven days of use, or maybe even three days of use, uh, this promises to lock in moisture. Um, for over five or seven days of you not using it. So this is a great hydrator. And you know, with summer here, um, if you've got your AC on at work, the office, your car, that dehydrates your skin. This is when this moisturizer can come in handy. So now we're going to go in with what we are reviewing today, which is the Murad Night Fix Enzyme Treatment. So we're going to use this babe as the final step in our skincare regimen. My skin feels great. It looks plump, feels nice and smooth. So we're going to go in with this. I'm going to, I, I really do love applying two pumps of this. I'm going to be honest because it's so thin and lightweight. So that is what she looks like. When I do apply this, I do kind of spread it over my uh, fingers here. Take a good whiff to take advantage of that uh, patent pending functional fragrance. And to kind of tell my brain that it is time to shut down, time to go to bed. And then I just apply it over the skin. You can put this by your nightstand and apply it there before you go to bed. So, this is what my skin looks like after using all Murad products from their hydration range and after using the Night Fix Enzyme treatment. All right, so I hope you guys really enjoyed that demo. I was kind of like, let's pretend it's uh, nighttime. Who would I recommend the Night Fix Enzyme? treatment to. Um, because of the fragrance element, I wouldn't suggest this be used on sensitive skin, but if you've got sensitive skin, I definitely suggest that you sample this um, and see if it works on you. Um, I think normal combo and oily skin would really enjoy this as the final step in their nightly routine. As far as pros are concerned, uh, the packaging is one of them. It's plastic and it's not see-through so you don't get any light peeking through um, your ingredients or your formula or your product. Um, although it is tough to gauge how much product you've got left, the packaging uh, definitely protects the integrity of active ingredients as it is never exposed to air or light. This is one of the lighter weight overnight masks that I have used in a while. Uh, my skin wakes up radiant and smooth. I'm not sure if I would say that I wake up feeling well rested um, since I personally find that 8.5 hours of sleep is never enough for me. Um, like I need 10 max or maybe a week's full of sleep. But yeah, my skin just wakes up smoother and hydrated. This is free of SLS, SLES, parabens, and mineral oil. This is also vegan and cruelty free. Um, as I've said before, Murad tests their products on humans like you and me and not on animals. Um, my con here is the fact that this is fragranced. Um, although Mira does call this a functional fragrance, it's still fragranced nonetheless. And although I do enjoy the scent and I feel like it just tells my brain that it's time for bed, um, once I breathe it in, um, I just don't see how it will benefit the skin. Uh, from what I have learned uh, 
fragrance can sensitize the skin and even if you don't see the sensitization right away. I will be um, docking a point for that just as I have done on other products. I'm going to rate uh, Murad's Night Fix Enzyme Treatment an 8 out of 10. I am deducting a point for the fragrance and another because I just can't say that this is a must have. It's essentially another step in your routine. Will it give you luminous skin? Yes. Will it hydrate your skin? Absolutely. But is it an essential? That is going to be totally up to you. Thank you all so much for watching today's video and for spending some time with me today. Do be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and make sure to hit that notification bell so that you are notified whenever I make a brand new upload. I will see you in my next video. Bye! I've been listening to uh, meditative something on YouTube here which I've really been enjoying lately. I like to play it when I'm by myself, when I'm editing, or when I uh, burn some Palo Santo here um, in the workspace. Um, it is, I would like to say officially summer here in LA, and it's officially like unbearable filming season. Um, we do live in a pretty large house, but I do film upstairs so it gets unbearably hot. What's the temperature today? It is 78. <sighs> this is any indication of what is in store for us. It's gonna be a rough summer. And I am, this upper lip is sweaty. So to compare it with other things that I have used, Really? Were you really getting this itch again? Why does this happen to me all the time? Okay. It's essentially another step 